Hello people, welcome to my channel Physio Guide by Divya. Today I am going to teach about ventilators. Ventilators and its uses, definition, types, modes of ventilator, indication, complications, okay. Uh, everything I am going, classification, okay. Now let's start our video. Definition. Firstly, what is ventilator? Ventilator, it is a device used for artificial ventilation air that helps in breathing, okay. It is a breathing machine and it is attached to a computer with knobs and buttons that are controlled by a therapist, a nurse or doctor, okay. Now, what are the types of ventilators? They are negative pressure ventilator, positive pressure, high frequency, positive, jet and oscillator. Firstly, what is negative pressure ventilator? Negative pressure, the whole body below neck is kept in a large negative tank film and a negative pressure is set up in the tank and thus induces pressure okay in, in, and by the closed pack it induces pressure so that he takes the breathing through the mouth in the mouth the, by the pressure set up in the tank okay below the neck now positive pressure positive pressure means here air is send into the lungs with pressure more than the atmospheric pressure that is via supra atmospheric pressure is set up and air is driven through the trachea okay by the mask we will keep no okay from the mask trachea the air is pushed into the lungs more than the atmospheric pressure now high, high frequency positive uh, ventilator this is divided into jet jet high frequency positive oscillator in this jet oscillatory jet frequency uh, the breaths are take 350 350 breaths are take per per one minute only 350 breath for one one minute this is jet and oscillatory here 1300 breaths are taken in per one minute okay now modes what are the modes there are two types full ventilatory the person is in full ventilatory support or in partial ventilatory support so first one is a controlled mandatory ventilator in this control mandatory ventilator this is a fixed ventilator for a definite time for a definite time this is fixed and there is no provision for spontaneous breathing ventilation effort means spontaneously the person does not breathe by herself suddenly occurs spontaneously he doesn't breathe he doesn't take any effort so this is given mainly for the intra operation uh, means in uh, during the operation and immediately after post operation this control mandatory ventilator is set up next controlled mechanical ventilator means this controlled mechanical ventilator uh, in this tidal volume and respiratory rate are set up in this mechanical ventilator next assist control mode in this mode uh, this acts like a controlled mandatory ventilator and when the patient takes a spontaneous breath here when the patient this acts like this uh, for a definite time only but when the patient takes a spontaneous breath the ventilator is triggered to react a preset level of the uh, ventilation now this uh, mm, when he takes spontaneous breath it goes into assist control mode they are divided in control and mechanic control mechanical and control in this assist mechanical ventilator tidal volume is set and used in weaning weaning time and this assisted control ventilator in this tidal volume is set and the patient is allowed to respire himself next one intermittent mandatory ventilator and synchronized this the patient is uh, patient are free to breathe spontaneously between set to ventilatory breath and mandatory breath by the spontaneous by um, breath by the synchronized with the patient spontaneous effort okay see by this mode intermediate mandatory ventilator the patient is breathed by himself and is and in between the breath rate is calculated so in this the machine is set up in synchronized mandatory ventilator when the patient makes his effort the machine itself calculates its requirement now next one pressure support ventilator in this a person uh, inspiratory pressure is added to the ventilator circuit during inspiration in spontaneous breathing patients so some pressure is added next one pressure ratio mandatory ventilator in this this set pressure with the uh, inspiration this uh, pressure ratio mandatory ventilator this sets pressure and with inspiration it is sent into the machine 
Now inverse ratio ventilator means this is a normal inspiration. Expression ratio is 1 is to 1.5 to 1.2, 1 is to 2. So inspiration time is increased uh, useful and it is a uh, useful in acute respiratory distress syndrome. This one. Next independent lung ventilator. Bifid endotracheal tubes are used in patient when one side of the lung is affected is more than the other. Next this one. Okay. Now next one setting of the ventilator. How to set the ventilator? Ensure that the airways are secure. Ensure adequate sedative opioids and muscle relaxants are given. Next tidal volume normal setup. Respiratory rate 14 to 16 per minute is set up. Fracture of inspired oxygen. Usually 100% oxygen to start, to start with their decreased slope. Next one, factors. Factors to be observed in case of ventilator. What are the factors? Means vital signs like BP, heart rate, consciousness of patients, secretions should be removed periodically, check alarm function of the ventilator, oxygen saturation in the blood. Next, classification of ventilator. Classification of ventilator on, on phases. First one, inspiratory phase. In this phase, the pressure See, inspiratory phase. In this phase, pressure generators and flow generators. Pressure generators means expo exposes the lung to a pressure. In this flow, exposes the lungs to the flow of the gas. Next one, cycling or change over the expression. After inspiration, change to expression. In this phase, it has pressure cycle, volume cycle, time cycle. Okay, by example, by these all. Next one, expiratory phase. Uh, inspiration next change to expression expression phase in this um, pep and nep allows expiratory restrictions or choice to be used so that expression is slowed you can make a choice to slow the expression and pep is positive pressure nep is negative pressure p positive and negative now cycling to inspiration next cycling to after expression cycling to inspiration here this uh, independently without patients so called controlled ventilator yeah intermediate mandatory ventilator means the gas applied to the patient so that he can take whatever sized breath he can take next mandatory minute volume is this gives the patient slight assistance to her own spontaneous effort yeah slight assistance need to be given here there is a choice how much breath he can take uh, he wishes he wishes to be able next CPAP means this increases the functional residual capacity and improves oxidation by this phase okay these are the phases and of ventilator now what are the indications and complications by applying this ventilator means firstly firstly indications for for whom respiratory failure patients we need to give for crush injury patients uh, scoliosis major surgeries uh, we need to give ventilator muscle causes like tetanus um, myasthenia gravis muscular dystrophy muscular dystrophy and we pulmonary like uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome uh, copd neck uh, bronchial asthma and drowning patients uh, next to cns uh, like um, central nervous system damage drugs overdose of overdose of morphine poisoning epilepsy patients we need to give these ventilators so what are the complications by giving this so ventilator means due to uh, any endotracheal tube there will be any complications uh, due to fluid retention outside stress ulcers uh, okay mm, barotromic uh, increased pressure surgical emphysema pneumothorax pneumothorax also these are the complications by applying this ventilation so i hope you understood this topic thank you for watching this video